Hi everybody, it's Patty, Rockstar Mom, and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do a chatty, sort of chatty, get ready with me, uh, with me doing my actual makeup for the day. And uh, I'm going to also show you a new bag, a market bag that I recently got. And it sort of came as a, a bonus uh, in that I got to meet one of you. And... That is always so much fun for me. Uh, and I'll share that with you a little bit later on. Last Saturday, we decided that we would go to a, it's a weekly, I believe it's every Saturday and Sunday. It's called the Palifax Market and it's in downtown Pensacola. And it's about four blocks long and it's just different vendors, uh, of a variety of things, but pretty much very, very, very local. And I took my camera with me and did some filming. And, <laughs> and then I wanted to go in my, probably my favorite shop here in the Pensacola area that I, my favorite that I found so far. And would you believe as soon as I walked in the door, I locked eyes with this woman and it was like we knew. She recognized me immediately, and just the expression on her face told me that she watched my videos. And so you'll see a picture of her later on, and I'll show you the bag that I got at that little shop. So let's get on with the makeup. Remember that when I get my eyes here, remember that when I do these Get Ready With Me's, they're not tutorials. They are absolutely not tutorials. I am not a trained makeup artist. So this is just one of the many ways you, and using a few of the many products I have uh, that I play with every day. So if you like it, awesome. I will list everything that I use below in the description box with a link and obviously you can go to it if you want to and check it out for yourself and decide if that's something that might be right for you but many of you are older women like just like me and you know that well you just know that our skin our wrinkles our sagginess it's changing constantly. And what worked for us yesterday, technique-wise, may not work for us today. So it's just, for me, it's just a, a constant of trying to look the best I can look without being too garish. And uh, that's, that's where I am with this makeup thing. Gave up on thinking I could ever look younger a long time ago. All right, so I'm gonna start off with something that I have been doing for a little while, and it's working for me, and I'm gonna do some concealing. I have, now remember that I am 79. I have some sunspots on the side of my face, on both sides, and you know, it's really funny, but I understand that this is the nature of these uh, discolorations from the sun, is that some days they're lighter and some days they're darker. And mine have always been that way. I've had two or three days at a time when they would almost disappear and then they would come back with a vengeance. So I'm starting off, right now they're here with a vengeance. So I'm gonna just use a little makeup brush and this is a cheap little brush. It's flat. Here, I'll hold it up. Maybe you can see it. I don't know if you can on my hand because of the color. I, I don't think you can see it actually, but I'm gonna use um, this NARS Soft Matte. This is called Complete. Whoops, here. Let me get my little Dollar Tree mirror. Now we have it. This is called um, Soft Matte Complete Concealer, and it is in light 2.8 Marion Glossé. It's the color, and listen, you're, you'll need probably something entirely different if you decide to go with this, but I really do like this concealer. It 
covers a lot. And as you can see, it's, it's thick and it's a cream and I just really get some on my brush and it doesn't match my skin completely but it's tone wise it's pretty good I have my big mirror right here and I'm I'm not being really careful I'm just trying to hit those spots and then these eyes I'm gonna get a little bit more just do that get I'm getting in those circles right there mainly okay through with that and today I'm using a, also NARS it's a NARS foundation and this is the light reflecting foundation and it is the color is Santa Fe and again that's my color it may not be yours so I'm going to shake it. It's in a pump. I am going to, I have one of these little glass things and I about got this on Amazon for just a few dollars. I mean, really a few dollars. I like uh, putting it on something like this instead of the back of my hand. But I'm just going to put, you can see, not very much. And then just any makeup brush. This is just one that I have and I'm dabbing it and then ooh, got too much we can make it work so how is your week going? mine is going pretty good Nothing really to complain about, except that my daughter, who lives in Arkansas, the one with the twins, has COVID. We FaceTime most days with the babies, and I guess... Saturday, maybe Saturday, she, when we were FaceTiming that morning, she was a little coffee and, you know, had some, and she said, I think I'm catching a cold. Or she's, I think she said, I think I woke up with a cold. And her dad has been in the hospital last week and she was, at the hospital and she said she had a mask, always wore a mask, but she woke up and said she thought she had a cold. And that was, that was it, you know, nothing more. And Sunday morning she woke up, or maybe it was Sunday when she woke up she had the cold. And as Sunday went on, she started feeling worse. And then Monday morning she was feverish and her wife is a doctor so they did a test and she tested positive so they immediately got her oh let me say this by the way this found out what this is one of my favorite liquid foundations now this is high end but let me tell you it one of the things I like about it is that it dries down almost instantly and I do not have to use powder so I like it for that reason all right, so we're just going to let that set. But she took, she got the, the uh, whatever the medicine is that you can take if you catch it early on, which she did, and started taking that. So she's, I haven't talked with her this morning. This is Wednesday. No, this is Tuesday morning. And she, I'm waiting to hear from her in case she's sleeping. I am just lining underneath my eyelashes and this is my NYX in 
black brown. It's hard to do this and talk. This really does make my eyelashes look longer and thicker at the base. I'm getting it up into my lash or my lashes. Okay, and let's see, I have two new Julep cream eyeshadows. I'm loving cream eyeshadows. Guys, I cannot remember, I absolutely cannot remember the last time I used a powdered eyeshadow. This one is called Orchid Shimmer. I've been wearing these for probably two or three weeks and I've had a lot of you ask what eyeshadow I'm wearing that you like it. So it's just a, a, like a crayon uh, and I go in my crease like that, not too far up over it, do both sides and this will dry down to a powder finish and it happens pretty fast. So I use my finger, you can use a brush, but I pat it out. And then I take a clean finger and clean it up and then I do the same thing with the other eye. And this is the only, only shadow I've been using, not this particular one, but the technique. You have just a real short working time on this. I'm taking a clean finger tissue. And that's it. And again, this color is Orchid Shimmer. I really do like it. It's just, it's great for every day. I'm going to take my NYX liner pencil again, and this I'm going to go just on the outer uh, corner of my upper lid, close to the lashes. I don't want a harsh line. And then mascara. This is Milani. This is not my favorite mascara by Milani. I tried it. This is the highly rated anti-gravity. I like the highly rated, but it's in a black tube. They were out of it at my Walmart. I, my Walmart, it's in one of the super centers, but it has the worst makeup department. The shelves are always empty. They're always a mess. And so, I, you know, I have a hard time. So we went to the Palifax market. Boy, I tell you, that gave me some long lashes. Of course, I use Revital Lash, and I will list that too. My eyelashes on the tips are like my eyebrows. They're, they're very blonde. I've been toying with the idea of having my eyelashes dyed. Have any of you ever done that? If you have, let me know in the comments and, and let me know what your experience was. Of course, I know no one here who does it. Okay, that's all I need. I just need color on my lashes. That Revital Lash is just really, really done the thing. And my good old faithful elf eyebrow pencil, just the $3 one. I love this. This would be my Desert Island product. I've said this before, I have never in my life had to tweeze my eyebrows. But as I'm aging, they're getting thinner. I have brows out on the end, but they're blonde. I am not going to have a microbladed, I know that, or tattooed. I know some people have do it and they love it and then I know some who are, can tell horror stories 
Uh-oh, let's see. This is my daughter. She said she's awake. I'm reading my watch. She's awake another night of a wild fever. Feel pretty decent this morning. Kids went to school and Riley went to work. They've been testing them on a regular basis to make sure they don't have it. I just got up, not up, but awake. Okay, that's good. That's good. Um, the way their house is laid out, the main part of the house is upstairs, and but their their bedroom is uh, and bathroom and all is downstairs, and the children don't go down there. So she was able to get away from them and. Uh, my daughter-in-law stayed upstairs with the babies. I am going now to take my NYX liner again. Okay, I think that's enough. That is enough, and I think I need a blush. Doll tan. I love this. This is called Boss Babe and it's the stick blush or in a tube. It's called the Multitasker. I think you can use it for lips, eyes, cheeks. Same brush. And I'm just sort of patting that in. Boy, my wrinkles are showing up deep in my this mirror today. I am going to go in with a little bit more of this and see if I can touch up right here. I had put on some lip balm this morning, but my CoverGirl 24-hour lip stain here, I think that's not the name of it, but I'll list it. And the color is 559. I need stock in CoverGirl. We'll let that dry for a minute. Um, let's see. Earrings, they are so old, and I probably paid maybe $5 for these. I've had them for so many years. They're one of my favorite pair, and I always get compliments on them. Y'all ask about them all the time. The shirt, the top is Bell by... Kim Gravel on QVC. Oh, did you notice? Some of you would have. I put my Kiss Nails back on. Just got tired. Just got tired of looking at these hands. And put them back on. Don't know how long they're going to stay on, but they're on. My face has dried down completely, so there's just, there's no need for any powder. I will do this. I think that's it, but look at these eyelashes. I can't believe how long they look today. Hmm. Oh, wow, okay. All right, so, except for, I think I've got that. Let me put the gloss or the balm on over this. That, and by the way, if you don't know, this comes together. You get the color and the balm.
and it just moisturizes. I have errands to run today. I just have on a pair of denim, denim leggings and this little top, the pink earrings and my pink square hair band, which you know I love my square hair bands. There's information about those below if you're interested. But let's, let me show you uh, the market and I'm just going to make it really short and give you some um, just some highlights maybe uh, of it. I'm not going to show the whole thing. And then I'll show you the little shop where I ran into Sandy and you'll see us. Uh, we took some pictures and I'll show you this bag now that I purchased there. And this, it's a market bag and when I saw it, I knew I had to have it because look at what it says. It says, create beauty, spread kindness. Does that sound like me? And it's Pensacola, and then the back has some printing on it, where it came from, and the tag, it says it's a polis global citizen. The origin is in Bangladesh, or the Bangladesh Project. And I will tell you that this was pricey. It was pricey. This one was $72. And, but it's a great bag. It says on the tag that uh, it's an everyday carry-all. It's durably constructed with a waterproof lining and is made to last at least eight years. Whether you're hauling groceries, items for your workplace, or baby supplies, this bag can carry over 100 pounds of whatever you need. Plus, your purchase helps provide fair trade wages, profit dividends, and a retirement fund to the Bangladesh mothers who make these bags. So, uh, you can see the inside. There is a little pocket, you know, right on the inside there that hangs. But, I just, I really do like this. I wish I'd had this to take with me to the Palifax market because I could have put my goodies in it, or Jim's goodies. Thank you so much for watching. You know that I appreciate you more than you'll ever know. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell so that you'll be notified every time I put up a video. It's free. It's all free. So, so hit the subscribe button, hit the bell. So I hope you'll go out Create some beauty for yourself. Be kind to yourself so that you can be kind to others. Know that I love you, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Easy as pie. Lemon, apple, or cherry Love and do is so very Sweet, sweet, sweet How can it be such a piece of cake? And your smile is the icing Love and you is a party It's sweet, sweet, sweet How can it be? And you make my candy coated heart Sweet confection I need your my sugar I'm pleased as punch Whether spiked or sparkly You make me tipsy and bubbly If you're dessert I want the last cards first Oh how I love
Italian oysters and shiitake. Mm. This is five and ten for the big one. We had mushroom ravioli just last night. You want this one? Mm -hmm. Lemon, apple, or cherry. Loving you is so very sweet, sweet, sweet. How can it be such a piece of cake? And your smile is the icing.